morning and welcome to this first worship service of the new year. I would have preferred that we were sharing this time in person together in Kitchissippi Sanctuary, but I'm delighted that we have the ability to join together virtually in this time of required separateness. As we begin this new year, 2022, we are going to look back at some of the Kitchissippi United Church recorded highlights that we shared with Rideau Park United Church and more recently recorded using our own live streaming capabilities. As we hunker down for another winter of COVID, it is good to reflect on how resilient we are and how we have continued to worship God and reach out in support to one another and to our community. Good morning. On behalf of Council at Kitchissippi, let me express a very warm welcome to everyone to join us in this worship service. Those who have chosen to join us in the sanctuary and those who have chosen to join us online. And online, it's interesting because this is our very first live streaming service. And finally, on behalf of all of us, it goes without saying that we would like to acknowledge and thank once again Rideau Park, both Reverend Stephen and Reverend Elizabeth and their teams to not only participate with them, but to be a part of those services that took place over the past 18 months really was very important to have a home to which we could go on Sunday morning. Good morning. The United Church of Canada and Kitchissippi United Church specifically acknowledge that this church and grounds reside on the unceded Algonquin Abishnabi territory. We seek to honestly face our past transgressions and going forward seek to live out rec reconciliation by standing with Indigenous peoples in their struggles for self-determination. The word became flesh and dwelt among us, full of grace and truth. John chapter 1, 14. Please join us in the call to worship. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace and goodwill to all. For out of God's own being, Jesus has come to bring light and love to all people. Jesus is Emmanuel, God with us, come to gather our tears and laughter, our work and our play, into God's loving embrace. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace and goodwill towards all. Let us pray together. O oh God of angel song, shepherd surprise, stable warmth and birthing cry, dawn in our dark darkness, sing through our silence, surprise us with wonder and with joy, 
this holy season. O come to us, Emmanuel. Amen. prayers of concern and thanksgiving. Loving and gracious God, we come before you today from our individual homes, either alone or with small gatherings. Thank you for the gift of your Son, whose birth we have just celebrated.
wanting. But of even greater concern is how all nations of the world will accomplish this mammoth task. We know it is not simple as providing money for vaccines. Second and third world infrastructure and trained personnel are so lacking that distribution and administration seems humanly impossible. Deaths seem inevitable. The COVID virus seems to be winning the war, yet there is beginning to be evidence that the Chrome Omicron is producing milder cases than earlier strains. You have made us marvelously resilient. Jesus, you were no stranger to hardship and death. Comfort the families who, like Mary, your mother, have experienced the loss of their most precious. Be with them in their grief and bring, bring them to acceptance that death is part of life, and although a mystery to us, you bring us to everlasting life. God of compassion, there continue to be so many, as we call them, natural disasters. Help us to acknowledge that we have been poor stewards of your world, that we have selfishly exploited and polluted, and that we, in fact, are the cause of much of the climate change. Thank you that Canada has resources to rebuild destroyed infrastructure and communities like those in British Columbia who in this year faced destructive fires, floods, and landslides. Thank you, Lord, that our military might is used to rebuild communities, not destroy them, and that our soldiers are deployed as health workers fighting this pandemic. Be with the people of the Southern United States who have suffered such devastation from the recent killer tornadoes and the people of the Philippines who have also experienced severe flooding. Lead us out of our apathy into a place where we take personal responsibility to reduce our individual carbon footprints and pressure our government to bring about national measures despite the financial costs. opportunity that they provide to us to help support our First Nation brothers and sisters through them. The churches that facilitated the attempted genocide of Indigenous people in your name must confess their sin and make restitution. 
Thank you that Pope Francis, your servant, is going to meet with national and tribal leaders and community members in this new year. This Christmas, we are helping Minwashan Lodge financially and with warm winter mitts, hats, and scarves for the many women and children they support, as well as hampers for five Indigenous families. As a church, we encourage Canada and Canadians to implement more of the recommendations of the Truth and Reconciliation Commission in areas which include child welfare, education, health, justice, language, and culture. With so many challenges to face in this world, at times we sometimes succumb to despair, both individually and as communities. Let us not lose sight of the beauty and goodness in life. The spectacular sunrises and sunsets, the sunsets that come later and later as we move from December's long dark days toward the bright days of spring. In this time of dormancy, let us remember that life will, birth, will burst forth again. To every time there is a season and a purpose under heaven. Let us pray together the prayer that Jesus taught his disciples and us to say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Normally at this time in the service, we collect and bring forward the congregation's offerings. Despite the fact that we are not meeting together for safety reasons, the life and mission of Kitchissippi United Church continues to support one another and our community in, alter in alternative ways. Please go to your KUC website and prayerfully make your financial contribution. There is also information on the site about how you can set up monthly contributions to PAR. Thank you. 
Let us pray. Generous God, we acknowledge that you continually give to us abundantly. We also know that those who are given much have a responsibility to share with those who are in need. We are your stewards, and our hands are your hands in this world, with which to serve all people.
May the road rise up to meet you. May the wind always be at your back. May the sun shine on your face, the snow fall soft on your fields. Until we meet again, may the God's palms hold you in gentle care. Amen.